Thank you. Thank you for having me, Diesel. It's great to be here. Um, the last year I've, I've been putting out, I put out a new record, and like I said, I was out with Billy Ray Cyrus doing a little fun summer tour, opening up for him, and um, now we're out promoting my first single, which I'll play for y'all here in a little bit, and I'm going to start out with a song called Neon Nights that my buddy Josh Thompson sent me, and it's a song that I heard first right after the band broke up, and it, it just kind of spewed optimism and positivity, and uh, I just really fell in love with it, um, and uh, it became the title track of my EP. Um, so it's about positivity. This song is called Neon Nights, and it's kind of about, you know, if you're out there having a bad day, there's always someone who's probably having a worse one, so try to have some perspective. One, two, three. Yeah, uh, Nissan during CMA Fest. Right. It was crazy. Like in a short amount of time. Yeah. It was, it was an, you know, it was an emotional roller coaster kind of, but... Um, it really taught me perspective and and really helped line up my 2019. Because you know when when the band ended, I thought, well, okay, am I just gonna write songs now? What am I gonna do? And pretty quickly, I got a a record deal. So it was just kind of go mode. Um, Billy Ray had just put out Old Town Road, and we had I had written the song you know a year before that, and me and Billy had talked about putting the song out, and then Old Town Road happened, and we we're like, why don't you just focus on that for a little bit? And it was fun to be a fly on the wall for that. And then, you know, eventually we put that song out and I got to play at uh, the Titan Stadium during CMA Fest with him. And it was a great time. My parents got to meet him, which was so fun. And and then we recorded my record and uh, put it out in September and I've basically been focusing on that since. So, awesome. yeah, it's been great. Yeah, did you get to spend any of that uh, you know, contact money? No, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm sure Billy did in the gas that we were on his bus with, oh, but... Uh, <laughs> I got to, I got to meet Lil Nas one night and that was cool. He was a great dude and yeah. and it was crazy. He's such a young kid, but he's you know so talented and and uh, was really the brain behind that whole thing. He knew exactly what he wanted to do and you know and brought Billy in. And if you would have told me in two thousand, you know, early two thousand nineteen that Billy Ray Cyrus would have the hottest rap verse of the year, I would have <laughs> <laughs> I would have bet you a lot of money. Thank y'all. <clears throat> well, um. One thing in common about that first song with this next one, it was written by the same person, Mr. Josh Thompson, and he's kind of my spirit animal. He just is always writing songs about cold beers, which I love. He's got that, uh, got a cold beer with your name on it and beer on the table, and he's one of the best songwriters in Nashville. So I'm really lucky that I get to write with him, and he sends me songs. And this was one that he sent me, and when I first saw the title, I was like, what the heck, dude, come on. It was called Drinking on a Back Road, and I was like, I've heard that before in country music, maybe. Come on, dude. And then I heard the song, and I was like, man, I really like this song. It just kind of felt like a big green tractor type vibe that Jason Aldean had in the beginning of his career. And so I decided to cut it and, and put this one on my record, and uh, we make sure and take the keys out of the ignition before we start drinking the beer. So it's, it's safe. It's called Drinking on a Back Road. Hope you guys like it, too. But it, it just talked about the history of country music and how you know, even back in Minnie Pearl's day, she was making up stuff like her name and Hollow Grove, and that it's all been the same since the beginning. You know, John Denver wasn't country enough for people back in the day, and I, I hear the same thing today. And now, "Take Me Home, Country Roads" is one of the top twenty country songs played of all time, and so it's just a fascinating thing. And I, I'm in love with the history and the tales that have been told through the country radio, and this song was inspired by that. It's uh, it's called "Probably Should Have Listened to the Radio." <laughs> well, this next song is kind of uh, our more um, rock and roll one we do. It's on the EP, and it's called Tonight All Day. And it was written by Tyler Hubbard and Shane McAnally and uh, Corey Crowder. And um, I loved the title when I first saw it because I'm a big Tom Petty fan. And, and he, he liked to write stuff like, you know, she wrote a long letter on a short piece of paper. And I always thought those were cool lines that he would kind of put juxtapositions against each other. And so when I heard Tonight All Day, I was like, oh, I got to hear this. And... Um, love this song. Um, it could be maybe a potential single one day after the next song I play, which is going to be my first single and I'm really excited about. But this one's just a rocker, and we start the show off with it. It's called Tonight All Day. Hope you guys like it. You just have to imagine the big full band on that one. You know, we're trying up here. <laughs> well, thank you guys for hanging out today, and uh, I hope that song, you know, with it mentioning Friday, reminded you that it's Friday and. We're all here today and going to have a good weekend, hopefully. Um, this song is going to be my, my first single to country radio, which sounds so cool. 
uh, hearing from my own work, my own mouth. And thank you, Diesel, and everyone here for coming and let me play you guys these songs. Um, this last one was sent to me by my buddy Michael Hardy, who goes by Hardy in the country world, and he's a great songwriter. And um, he, it meant a lot to me when he sent it because he he wrote our last single from my old band growing up, and we bailed on it like a weekend to country radio and broke up. And so for him to send me this song. Uh, meant a lot to me as a friend, as a musician, uh, and I think says a lot about him as a person. And it's called I Can't Even, and I've heard my sisters and my girlfriends say this term before. I didn't get it. They're like, I can't even. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I can't even with you. And I, I finally kind of got it. And then I heard this song, and uh, I was like, that's going to be my first single. It's, it's a little, uh, it was a little out of my a comfort zone at first because it was you know, kind of a little bit more pop and it just kind of grew into what I felt like my direction is going and, and I feel like it's a blessing that he sent me this song. So my first single to country radio coming out in March. It's called I Can't Even. Hope you guys like it. Thanks, Diesel. I'm John McGuire, y'all. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. <laughs> 